Character.org recognized 15 campuses as schools of character in the whole state of Texas. And the Harmony School of Innovation in Fort Worth is one of them. So this morning, we are here to celebrate. Woo! Good morning, everybody. This morning, I'm talking to Erin Wolf. She's the District Director of Communications. Erin, you have the number one nationally ranked STEM program. Wow, just saying that out loud is incredible. But you say it's much more than just a recognition. Well, the recognition that we're um, acknowledging today and celebrating today is actually for character.org's um, character development. And we have been nationally recognized and we have, a tw uh, since 2000, we've been doing STEM education. And so this recognition is bigger than that because this is our first recognition in character development and we're really excited. Congratulations. I'm actually gonna have you hold your mic up just a little further okay. so we can make sure that we hear all this great recognition. Okay. What does it take to be recognized? It's actually a very long process with character.org and it's pretty intense. We have integrated character development and, and making sure that we are producing well-rounded citizens uh, not just STEM enthusiasts. So um, it's been a long two-year process to get integrated into every component from the way that students uh -huh. interact with each other to student-teacher interactions to the way that we actually interact in our communities. Okay, actually that Sky, I'm going to bring you in. Actually, over here, you kind of seem far away. This is Sky Moreno. She is a senior and you are only two high schools a part of only two high schools that made the list. But I know, as she mentioned, community involvement is key, but how important? It is actually very important to our school. Our school has a 100-hour community service requirement that each student needs to um, accomplish by the time that they graduate. And through this, as president of National Honor Society, we've been able to take part in Trinity Trash Bash, Habitat for Humanity, and done individual service projects. So last semester, I was able to hold a coat drive, which we uh, collected gently Wonderful. new uh, and used coats and scarves to give to the homeless shelter in Union Gospel. And it's really what makes us thrive for success. And it's honestly a very, very enjoyable thing for me. I absolutely love it. Now, you have to get 100 community service hours, yes. right? So yes. did you hit that as a senior? Yes. Uh, this year, I've completed over 300 community service <laughs> hours. So, <laughs> Yay! Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, well, congratulations you. to you. you. And you have some of your, your peers here, some yes. of your friends. In fact, we're going to meet some of them. Mm -hmm. And they brought some really cool exhibit. And the first student we're going to meet, this is Kevin Matthew. What are you going to do for us here? So. It's really cold out here, but we're about to show you something even cooler. What we have here today is a demonstration of pH, and pH we hear about every day. Okay, let's see it. And here we have indicators that we brought along in two different solutions. One is a dark blue because it's basic, because it has a pneumonia, and one is regular water. Now let's see what happens when we add dry ice to the mix. It's about to do something very cool. Let's mix it a bit. Here we're about to add dry ice to the solution. And we'll see a different. <laughs> that's a bit big, a big piece, but we're about to see something interesting happen. We see it foam up because it's converting all this basic uh, solution into something acidic, and soon we'll see a color change. Okay. And we're about to drop our next piece of a dry ice, okay. and there it goes. There we go. oh, see the color change. <laughs> that is wonderful, Kevin. I wish I had more time for you, but I need to meet some of your other friends here also. Thank you for that. Michael Rodriguez, what are you going to show us? Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys today um, something called hydrophobic sand. It works in basically exactly how it sounds. It's scared of water. It repels water and no matter what it does. So here I can actually show you. If I, you were to give me, yes, if you were to give me your hand right here. Oh, uh, actually, I don't have a hand to give you. I'm sorry, but your hand works really well. You can well. tell. Here, it's actually dry. There's <laughs> completely... No effect. Enjoy your sand. That was really cool. Sorry, I have some more to see. We're running out of time. And so what do I have? What are you going to show so, me here today? Uh, uh, and this is uh, jo Johan. Yes. Good to see you. Um, I'm going to pick your card for you because you okay. said you Thank have you. Hands. Thank so, you. Thank uh, you. So card, and I can put it, back into the de uh, put it back into the deck and shuffle it. And I also need you to give me a number between 1 and 15, let's say. 1 and 15? Yes. Uh, okay, give it to you right now. Yes. 9. So 9. Now, uh, mathematics and card tricks kind of go hand in hand. Uh, when, when we say uh, when we say ma uh, math and when we count, we uh, we also uh, we also only mean uh, we're counting in ten. So, fif uh, uh, nine would just be ten one, uh, nine ones, right? So, uh, right nine. So your card was right there. You got it. Uh, nine, uh, two fours, and a one. So, uh, 
Okay, you know what? I have to move on to the next one. Um, only because I want to make sure I get to everybody, and I feel so bad that we can't finish this, this car track. But in commercial break, me and you, okay? Okay, so this is a, basically a, a simulation that shows how lightning works. Would you mind um, holding this up so it, the sparks become more visible? This device here creates a static charge, which when discharges creates causes scaps, sparks to jump across the gap, which maybe need a little bit of help for that. Or maybe this broke. Well, just if this. Oh no, it broke. Oh, well, no, of course, on live television because it's live TV. Yeah. Well, if this didn't break, yeah. What this would do? This, you oh, know, yeah. I'm sorry, we've run out of time, you guys. Okay. I am so so sorry, but I'm so thrilled that you came out here. I know you're playing hooky. You should be in school today. You came here to show some really great ex uh, experience. Experiment. So I'm going to get everybody some information on the Harmony School of Innovation in Fort Worth, okay? They are on Hewlin Street. They're open for enrollment. Actually, open enrollment ends soon. Here's the number, the website, actually, to check out more information. It's hsifortworth.harmonytx.org. That information is on your screen for more information.